hello guys welcome to my channel this is the ninth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the precedence of style rules in CSS so the document that I have here is very similar to the file that we used in the last tutorial I made a couple of modifications uh, this one's called style underscore overriding dot HTML and we are also going to use the CSS underscore master dot CSS file that we used in the last tutorial so uh, the rule that I have here is uh, the same as I had in the last tutorial. I have applied two style rules to the H2 and H3 level headings. Uh, so I've changed the font style to italic and I've uh, changed the color of the text to blue. Now in this file, I have added a style tag, right? So I have uh, an external style sheet which has a couple of rules, but I've also added a style rule in the style section within the head section of this document. So I've changed the color of the text for the H2 level headings to orange and then within the body section I also have an inline rule. So for the H3 level headings I've changed the color to green through an inline style rule that you can see on line number 15. Right. So what's going to happen is this rule is going to take the highest precedence. I mean the inline style rule that I have on line number 15 right and uh, then this rule is going to take the next uh, precedence and that is going to be followed by the style rules that I have in the external document right so the highest priority is enjoyed by the inline style rules followed by the style rule that you mentioned within your style tags followed by you know the style rules if you have an external style sheet that is uh, you know that enjoys the lowest priorities so I'll save this file and I'll go to the folder in which I have it and it's called style underscore overriding or something so here's the document I'll double click on it and this is what I see so I didn't apply any style rule to the level 1 heading so that's why it's appearing in black and I didn't apply any style rule to the level 4 heading either so this one's also appearing in black but the level 2 and level 3 headings are showing interesting formatting so you know this one is being displayed in orange and that's because I use the style section to implement a style rule for the H2 level headings and this one is being uh, displayed in green because I had an inline style rule for this particular heading right so if suppose in the document I remove this I remove this style rule if I save the file and if I refresh in the browser then the H2 level heading should change to blue and that's what's happening and thus this is because now this heading is being uh, styled as per the rule that we have in the external style sheet right so this is a very important concept you know if uh, suppose you uh, have an external document and you do not want to make modifications to it because you know it's inconvenient or for whatever reasons you can make changes within your HTML document to certain elements so you know you could use class selectors or you could use inline style rules to make some changes and not affect the master document that you have so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys had fun watching this video and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you soon till then take care